How much we pay our teachers has been debated for years nationwide and also here in Ohio. But now a new study shows adding a 1% increase to educators' checks could go a long way in reducing the inequalities that students face in the classroom. Meg Shaw joins us live this morning with more on this study and how bumping up teacher pay could also improve test scores in certain school districts. Good morning, Meg. Hey, good morning to you, Danita and Mike. Well, the professor behind this study says policymakers at the state and federal level need to shift their focus. And instead of putting money towards construction costs for new schools and other projects, instead put that money towards teachers who are directly responsible for student success. Standardized tests, they're a hot debate. Some consider them a metric for the quality of teaching, while others, like Jeff Wensing, the uh, vice president for the Ohio Education uh, Association, disagree. You know, we don't believe that a one day, one point in time test is uh, an indicator of all the great work going on in your classroom. Regardless of one stance, they're still being given each and every year in classrooms across the U.S., with a lot of stock being put into the results. And one Akron professor says if we pay teachers just one more percent, those scores could go up, especially in higher poverty schools. Ali and Nami found between 1996 and 2015, a 1% increase in teachers' compensation in high poverty school districts led to an almost 3% increase in math proficiency tests of high school graduates. Like the more you feel valued, uh, always helps, right? Wensing, who taught math in the Parma School District for more than 20 years, tells me he supports fair wages and says districts experiencing poverty who can't afford to pay their teachers more and don't get state or federal help tend to have high turnover rates. And teachers hone their craft, they perfect their skills, they get really good at lesson planning and classroom management. And after they've done that, you become a training ground as a school district and then they take those skills and they go elsewhere. All right, so the question now becomes, what do we do with these findings? Well, the professor behind it uh, suggests that policymakers really shift that focus and the spending increases they put towards those high poverty school districts so that state and federal uh, entities will have a higher investment of return. Talk about this all the time. Teachers, they are doing really great work in the past couple of years for them have been really tough and increase would be uh, more than appreciated, I'm sure. Yeah, and deserved mm -hmm. and well deserved. Thank you, Meg. Since 2014.